Hello, hello! So today we're going to look at jet-powered aircraft and learn a little more about turbine engine technology. If you're not sure how a jet engine works, I'd recommend quickly watching my basic explanation here. So this is a typical jet engine that you'll find on a commercial aircraft. This is a high-bypass, two-stage, turbofan engine. So these engines have the same basic layout as before, but with a few different features to make them more powerful and more efficient. You have an intake fan, a compressor, combustion chamber, turbine and exhaust. One of the differences is that this type of engine has two compressors and two turbines. The first compressor and the last turbine are known as the low pressure stage. It could also be called the low pressure spool. The second compressor and the first turbine right in the core of the engine is your high pressure stage because the air pressure is at its highest right in the centre of the engine. Now all of these turbines and compressors are connected together by a shaft, however the high pressure stage has one shaft and the low pressure stage has a separate shaft and they spin at different speeds independently from each other. The shafts are normally built concentrically what that means is that one is built inside the other. Another key difference is that some of the air sucked into the engine by the intake fan actually passes around the outside of the engine core. This is where the high bypass comes into play. I don't fully understand the technical details of how it works, but the air passing around the engine does add more thrust when it reaches the exhaust. The other main benefits is that it helps to cool the engine which improves its lifespan and it also reduces noise making the flight more comfortable for passengers. So now we understand how the engine is constructed, we'll be able to understand the engine readouts in the cockpit. This is the engine display from the default Boeing 737 in FSX. Aircraft will usually display an N1 and N2 value. The N1 value represents the speed of the low pressure stage, indicated as a percentage of performance. The N2 number relates to the high pressure stage. You can see in this example that the N1 is currently at 24% and the N2 is currently at 55.2%. So there's an example of the two engine stages spinning at different speeds. Another acronym you'll probably see is EGT which is exhaust gas temperature. This indicates the temperature in the exhaust portion of the engine. On some aircraft this may be replaced with ITT which is interstage turbine temperature. It serves the same purpose however it takes the temperature of reading from between the turbine stages not the exhaust. The other common one you'll see FF simply represents fuel flow. VIB shows the engine's level of vibration this most often occurs if the engine suffers damage, so if one engine seems to be vibrating more than the other, that could indicate a problem. Fortunately, it's easy to see when the engine is in trouble, as the numbers displayed will change colour if the engine's performance enters a dangerous state, such as exceeding the maximum speed. So that pretty much covers all the basics for the main engines, but there is a third turbine engine in the plane. This is more commonly known as the APU, or Auxiliary Power Unit. This is a small turbine engine which usually sits in the tail of the plane, and its main purpose is to provide electrical power and compressed air to the aircraft when the main engines are not running. The APU is also needed to start the main engines. Compressed air, known as bleed air, is directed from the APU to one of the main engines. This compressed air is fed through the compressor and the turbine of the engine, causing it to spin. Once the engine is spinning at a suitable speed, fuel is fed into the engine and ignited. At this point, the engine spins up faster to its idle speed, and from that point, it's self-sustaining. It's running on its own and drawing in enough air to keep working. I definitely recommend searching on YouTube for a couple of jet engine startup videos. You'll be able to hear the two distinctive stages of starting an engine. First, a loud rushing sound of the compressed air being fed into the engine, followed by a deep, almost groaning or howling sound, which is when the fuel is added and ignited.
So that's everything on the engine technology front covered. The jet aircraft available in the basic FSX game are the Airbus A321, the Boeing 737, the Boeing 747, the Bombardier CRJ700 and the Bombardier Learjet 45. So hopefully now you understand jet aircraft a bit better and hopefully you can feel more confident going and flying with them. In my next video I'm going to look at crosswind approaches and landings which will be good fun and not as scary as some people think. Hope to see you there, many thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.